Hello, today I thought we'd take a look at a flanger and this one here is a Boss BF2 it's a vintage um, black label Japanese one um, I've, I've worn it for nearly 30 years and it's in all that time it's never let me down and I really like it um, so let's have a look at it and see what you think so here it is then, the Boss BF2 flanger it's, um, it's in the standard Boss case which uh, most of us I'm sure are familiar with now um, just looking at the bottom this is a black label um, made in Japan one which means it's quite early I think I acquired it about 1982, 83 I've got it new um, across the top here we've got the the DC socket which actually requires a 12 volt power supply um, that's because this is an early boss pedal although it runs off a 9 volt battery it requires a 12 volt power supply uh, we've got our four dials across the top manual, depth rate and resonance resonance is the one that um, sends the flanger over the top and enables you to get all those jet plane sounds and crazy uh, steel drum effects and stuff rate is just the, uh, the speed of the effect depth speaks for itself and manual what happens with manual if you roll the depth control at zero the flange then freezes and you can step through different flanged pitches with the manual control it's a little bit like um, the filter matrix effect on, say, an electric mistress. Um, what I like about this pedal is that it's very versatile. Not only can you get some nice flanging effects, you can also get great chorus sounds and also um, some good rotating speaker cabinet effects. And um, I'm going to stop yapping now and plug it in. And we're going to also hear alongside it a fuzz face so we can have a bit of uh, distortion. We're going to have clean and distorted. And here it comes, the Boss BF2 flanger.